going on, Jerome's? Happy Thursday. TJ Hawkinson is a stud tight end, and he's top three in the league, and he is not three, and he is certainly ascending. At 26 years young, uh, he's wrapping up his rookie deal, playing on his fifth-year option, going to make $9.2 million and change, but, of course, is looking for that long-term contract. Now, he has been affected at training camp with an inner ear infection and now has a stiff back, but he's still looking for that new contract, and... <sighs> TBD if he's going to get it uh, from the Vikings. So Diana Rossini of The Athletic uh, reported this yesterday. Quote, uh, the Vikings and tight end TJ Hawkinson have been working on an extension, but both sides are far apart per league sources. Hawkinson wants to reset the market with a historic contract extension for tight ends. Uh, he has been limited at practice because of an ear infection and back soreness. Now, we talked about this yesterday, and when things are going well in negotiations, it's quiet, but it's pretty clear that the team leaked this because uh, sides are far apart, and they're trying to make TJ Hawkinson and his agent look uh, bad in the court of public opinion. In a salary cap league, when a player says he wants to reset the market or a historic contract extension, gets a little bit dicey uh, with, with the fan base. So it's not a good sign. And also, I, I wouldn't be shocked if, like, Rap Sheet or Pelissero comes back with, oh, the Vikings are lowballing Hawkinson because that's just how the game is played. But if it comes to it, and if the Vikings and Hawkinson can't come to a an agreement on a new deal, even though they had just traded for him at the trade deadline last off uh, last season, and Hawkinson played a phenomenal half season with the Vikings, uh, would the Vikings consider – trading Hawkinson like like would they pull an extended version of unique the freaking Gakwe back in 2020 would they do that whether it's uh, before the start of the season or before the trade deadline would the Vikings consider trading TJ Hawkinson now with Hawkinson in Detroit, it was never a question of skill. Uh, obviously he has a ton of talent. he's one of the more elite tight ends in the game but you know, maybe their GM Brad Holmes who I, I respect a lot maybe they don't see the tight end position as premium even though they did draft Sam Laporta. Mm. Uh, yeah, the the Hawkeye tight end pop pipeline is still there, but uh, maybe they traded Hawkinson because they didn't foresee them doing a long term deal with Hawkinson down the road, and the Vikings are uh, currently looking uh, looking down the barrel of that right now. But <sighs> I hope not. I like I, I really hope not because I want Jefferson and Darisaw and Hawkinson and Addison to be you know the four tent poles of what this offense is going to be going forward. Uh, but you never know uh, with Quasey and. Quasey is a little bit of a wild card, and he's he's very analytically driven, and wherever there's value, he will find it. And with Hawkinson, like we said, he's playing on his fifth-year option right now, around $9.2 million and change, uh, but he is looking for that long-term extension. And if he... Even if he doesn't reset the market, which right now uh, the the top dog is Darren Waller making seventeen million per, and then you got Kittle and Kelsey uh, at fifteen and and around fourteen point three uh, and change. But even if he doesn't want to reset the market per se and is still looking for fifteen sixty million per year, that's still a pretty healthy chunk of change. Uh, and we've been over spot rack estimates his value at fourteen four, uh, which would put him at uh, uh, just slightly above Kelsey as tight end three until Kelsey gets paid again. But you know, the question is. Do the Vikings want to pay that? Because, yes, hashtag cap is a myth, but eventually, you know, you do have to have space for JJ's deal. You do have to have space for Derrissaw's uh, extension when he's eligible next offseason. You do have to have space for Kirk Cousins, potentially. Mm. Uh, even though, like we said, Hawkinson had a phenomenal year last year, is there trade value? L like, can the Vikings get more than what they gave up at the trade deadline for Hawkinson, that third and fourth? Uh, well, Going through the reasons, uh, number, reasons why they would trade Hawkinson, where Quasey don't give a fudge, where if he can find value and if the Vikings currently aren't keen on paying Hawkinson 14, 15, 16 million per year, I, I, I think that they would do it, especially since, you know, JJ and Darius play much more premium positions, even though the prices obviously will be a lot higher. Having space for them makes more sense than doling out for Hawkinson right now. Also, if they got the right deal, like if team is desperate, say giving up a second round pick or a premium starter, um, I would be okay with that. Plus, uh, if you look at the Vikings uh, tight end depth, I mean, if they did get rid of Hawkinson, and they actually may have to start the season without Hawkinson, depending on how this back issue goes, but uh, they signed Josh Oliver to a three-year, $21 million deal. He's a great blocking tight end, but also very underrated as a receiver. Am I, hell, he came in as a receiver from San Jose State. Mm. They got Johnny Munt, who was great as a tight end two last year. Kevin O'Connell calls him the best tight end, uh, best tight end three in the league. Nick Muse has shown a little something, something. Same thing with UDFA Ben Sims, as well as Colin Thompson. So, 
Tight end depth ain't an issue uh, if they did want to trade Hawkinson, uh, even though obviously Hawkinson is you know a top three tight end. Uh, why they wouldn't? So, you know, Quasey's uh, very anically driven, but he's human. He's got an ego too. It would look kind of bad if you traded for a guy uh, at, at the trade deadline last year and you see him as part of your future, then all of a sudden you you balk over a couple of bucks. Uh, also, if they're not getting the right price, like they're not going to trade Hawkinson for a conditional six. That's just not going to happen. Also, Hawkinson is a top three tight end. And if you look, I mean, uh, at, at the tight end market, I mean, Kelsey is aging out and... I mean, could you say that at the end of the day, this year in a high-powered offense, in a high-volume offense, could Hawkinson be the tight end one in the league? Yes, I, I think that's a very plausible path that he has laid out in front of him. So even though you know t- tight end isn't seen as a premium position, pass catchers are, and that's what uh, exactly what Hawkinson is. Uh, but also it could, why they went is maybe he wants top money but not reset the market. Maybe uh, he really is uh, looking for you know that 14-4 per year, 14-5 per year. Maybe he wants to be in the top three, but maybe he's not looking for, or, you know the 17, 18, you know historical uh, contract numbers, uh, like uh, Rossini was talking about. It's very possible, man. But also, uh, I, mm, mm, again, if they got the, the right offer, where it's like Hawkinson for Quentin Nelson one time, where I understand guard is not seen as a premium position, it is on the Vikings. Not saying, I'm just saying, or Robert Hunt of the Dolphins and a third round pick. Let's go. Let's go. But uh, e- either way, I think Quasey will figure it out, whether it's uh, coming to terms with Hawkinson or potentially finding a trade partner. I, I don't see them just giving him away for nada. Uh, but if, if they do get the right offer, if they're able to bring in a competent starter, especially along the offensive line, if they're able to get uh, top-tier uh, trade compensation, I think that they would potentially do it. But as of right now... I, I don't see it happening, and I really hope it, it doesn't happen. I hope that this is just a bump in the road. I hope that this is, uh, you know, all, all of the. I hope all the leaks are just uh, playing the game at this point, uh, and I hope Hawkinson stays in purple because I think the chemistry between him and Kirk are real. Uh, I think that the trident of receivers uh, of uh, JJ and Addison and uh, Hawkinson long term is going to be beautiful uh, here in the great state of Minnesota, but. We'll see. Anyways, your thoughts on our thoughts. Would the Vikings consider trading TJ Hawkinson? Mm. Let us know your thoughts on our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>